Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Let's Play Minecraft. I am Mr. Envelope and we're over here in our Let's Play world. I <laughs> uh, almost forgot <laughs> where we were, but um, yeah, welcome back guys. Uh, I have been doing a little bit of work around here, kind of just, uh, you know, doing some random builds, things that I think might be cool. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's a bit of a pathway that I'm working on over here. We can go check that out right now. Um, I'm not. I'm still not sure like where I'm putting everything. I'm kind of just going um, whatever I think is gonna work at the moment. Um, like I made a path right here, and I'm thinking I'm gonna connect it up here, or we might just connect it down here and kind of just wall that off completely, kind of like that. Um, except against. The mountainside right there i don't know where this is gonna lead uh it might be just another path over to the skeleton farm but then we also have that path laid out over there uh yeah i'm not too sure but i started working on this i don't know how i feel about it but so far um i mean like i like how it looks i like the the structure and everything i suppose is what i'm trying to say but i don't know if i like it right there um this is a whole lot of just sand, <laughs> a big sand wall and everything, and I'm not sure if I should have built it more over the sand, so it's not just a bunch of sand wall right there, because if that was built over the sand, you know, we'd have more like longer support beams, I suppose. I don't know, um, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if what I just said really made sense, um, but that's what I've been working on. It's nothing, nothing really, but it's, it's something that's been uh, taking up my time um I still need to finish up doing a lot of the house cuz it's still pretty plain I added a little fella right here that was part of the original plan um, just have like a little garden bed up there but down here it's like super plain and there's not much going on um, it's still just the cobblestone frame and yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on here, but uh, there, there's still lots to do. I've been kind of uh, just really taking my time doing things around here. But uh, yeah, anyways, <laughs> I don't know really what I'm trying to say right now. Uh, but we're back again. I've done a little bit of exploring. I went to the nether. I was able to get some... We had glowstone, but I thought I got some blaze rods. I did. I got some blaze rods. I'm kind of thinking about maybe trying to find the end portal. <laughs> um, but I feel like once we go to the end, we're going to want to, like, you know, fight the dragon. Go. We, we'd be able to go back to our spawn town home super easy, but then we'd have, like, no way of coming back here. So I'm not 100% sure how we're going to do that. Because I think if we go to the end, I'm going to want to get some elytra wings. So if we do get over there, we can fly back over here super easy. Because um, we are about 10,000 blocks away. So I'm not too sure what we're doing. Uh, I managed to get a trident. I got another trident. It had like no durability. But I also fished up a mending book. Um, I, fished, I fished up two of them. So we have mending on this trident because I wanted to try it out. And we have mending on the silk touch pick, so I'm very happy with that. We got a new silk touch pick. I don't have to worry about uh, losing it or anything. I think I need to add another unbreaking on this, yeah. And probably another efficiency, and then uh, we'll be good to name it. Uh, make it something special, worthwhile. But uh, those are the only two mending books I've managed to fish up. I've managed to fish up. Wow. I can talk. <laughs> um... But yeah, I've been playing around with this, and it's super cool. I know that there's there's another enchant you can get on this. Uh, not channeling. I think channeling is the one that uh, makes a lightning strike if it's storming. Ah, but what's the other one? It lets you, like, ride or hold on to the trident after you throw it. But this, uh, what I have on this one is loyalty, so it always comes back to me. And it's super cool. <laughs> I've just been, like, throwing it at fish or squids because... There haven't been too many mobs around here. Uh, I went out to the ocean a little bit. And I just, you know, waited for a bunch of of the drowned dudes to spawn. But I feel like it's not that effective. Like, it wasn't doing too much damage. And I put... Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, I threw it. <laughs> I put um 
impaling five on it, but it's still not doing too much. So I don't know. Maybe it's not meant to be like a super strong weapon. Just, you know, another projectile that is an option. I think the bows were a lot better. Uh, power five underwater. The thing with those though is you can't really shoot them too far because they start dipping down right away um, whenever they're uh, shot out, the arrows. So I don't know. I think this is just meant for like not to be super OP but just to be an option for underwater which makes sense because I mean that's it, was, it came out during the update where you get to go explore underwater. <laughs> um, but let's see I wanted to get a few of the drowned guys to spawn. Check it out. It's still taking like three throws for these guys to die. But I guess it is pretty quick to like fend them off. The only problem is sometimes you get swarmed with these guys. Like I feel like it's better to, you know, get a knockback sword. Just like smack them away for a little bit and then like swim away. Unless you want to kill them, I guess. Then you don't want to knock them away. It just takes such a long time to get these guys dead. And I like to do things pretty quickly. Like... I don't want to spend too long just focusing on keeping these guys away, you know? I don't know. And you can't put looting on these, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, I feel like looting's usually like on everything, but I think if you hold a looting sword in your offhand or in your main hand and switch them, you know, like so, I think you'd still get the looting effect. I'd imagine you would. Here, I think we have to go like this. It's a little hard to tell. I tried to test it on some cows um, to see if I'd still get the same amount of like leather or any more leather and extra beef. Uh, it, was, it was a little tricky to tell, but I think the looting effect does carry over. This guy should drop the Nautilus shell no matter what. Yeah. Alright guys, so I don't really have a plan for today's episode. There's just like a couple things I want to do for sure and then maybe i'll find something to do along the way um i just made a brewing stand i managed to go into the nether and find a fortress but then i got really lost on the way back so i don't remember where the fortress is i just remember being lost in the nether for a while what am i doing um yeah we're gonna make some potions right now oh i gotta i gotta go get some apples too we're gonna try to cure this villager that i captured uh, but we need the potions first, obviously, and I want to get rid of this house today. Let's let's make that one of our goals. One, two, three. Man, there's a lot of noise outside right now. Uh, no, let's not do this in here. Let's take this to the kitchen since that's what I have to do. Uh, we're going to need one of these. We're going to need a mushroom and a spider eye. That's what I forgot to grab from over there. Um, check out this uh, the thing, though, that... I had said I think I don't know if I actually showed you guys <laughs> but um I don't know I kind of like walking around here but looking at it from afar it kind of just looks like a big jumbled mess I feel like um, but having it like in your peripheral vision like while you're just walking through here I really like it um, I don't know I just think it's really really nice <laughs> I like just looking up and seeing some green up there you know I know we're surrounded in a forest but you know I like it I think it's cool I just wish that um the oak leaves would keep like the forest color as opposed to the taiga color because these are all oak leaves but you know they like, change in the biomes um, oh perfect a mushroom I needed this okay so sugar spider eye mushroom there we go I'm a brewing master there we go okay Hopefully we just need this one and we're not going to mess this up. <laughs> um, I think I had said this when I started this episode, but um, you know, it, it, when we get elytra wings and stuff, one thing that I think we're going to have to kind of get prepared for is having sugarcane, like plentiful amounts of sugarcane to make paper, um, to make fireworks, because I noticed when we were living at the old place, uh, I feel like I was always very cautious about using my um my fireworks because i didn't have too much i felt like i was always gonna run out it was just really bad <laughs> so i want to make sure that we have a good amount and i think we'll probably do that in this area back over here in the farmland i'm not exactly sure if i want to set up like a whole automated farm um 
maybe just do something manual. Uh, I remember Ninny on his old Let's Play world, he had a big sugarcane farm. It was just like a big old field of sugarcane, and the thing about those is they don't always look the best, but I always liked seeing Ninny's like in the background whenever he walked a certain path or something, you know, you just see like this big field of sugarcane. I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, so I'm kind of thinking that we'll, we might do something like that. Um, just because, you know, one, it'll grow, I think, a little bit faster. <laughs> um, for some reason, I feel like uh, if you guys remember the old sugarcane farm I had, let's just take this for a second. Uh, we had pistons right here and observer blocks right here. And, uh, you know, they would monitor whenever the sugarcane would grow to this point, and then a pulse would come down and push the piston, and it would break the whole plant. Um, I feel like having blocks right here would kind of uh, stop the sugarcane from growing as quickly. I don't know if there's any truth to that, but it kind of seemed like it. Um, that's why towards the end of the sugarcane farm we had back at the old base, I expanded it so much because I'm like, this thing is just not working that well. Um, but these guys, I noticed, when they're just growing free out in the world, <laughs> um, they grow really quickly, like way faster than I ever want to harvest, you know? So, I don't know. That's what I'm kind of debating right now. I think, I'm, I think I'm leaning towards the open field, but I'd want it to be somewhere far in the background. So it wouldn't really be in this field, maybe like a little further. Because uh, I do plan to put some stuff over here. Um, do some like builds and stuff, and I don't want to see it <laughs> in like all the, the workspace I'm doing right there. Uh, maybe like in the field back over there even. But the thing is, too, we have to be nearby the sugarcane for it to grow because crops uh, in Minecraft, they'll only grow if you're nearby them. So you can't just, like, plant a field in the spawn chunks and have them grow. You have to be uh, kind of near them and stuff. At least that's how it used to be. In 1.8, at least. And 1.9. Yeah. Because I remember, like, on ColonyCraft, uh, when I first joined that server... Uh, we Beastie had set up a sugarcane farm and he was really confused why nothing would grow and I'm pretty sure it's because players have to be nearby crops for them to grow. They only grow like within I think 30 blocks or so. There's, I'm sure there's some more information out there on how that game rule works. Um, I got this stuff planned out too. We're gonna build something over here. Uh, I don't know when, but I got some plans guys. Oh, he changed! Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, this is a little tricky right now. My cat just jumped on my lap, uh, but we got germ down here. Uh, wanted to trap this guy because it was a librarian, obviously. Uh, fire protection. <laughs> Shut up. That was terrible. That's a terrible, terrible trade. Uh, let's block you up for now, uh, just to be safe. Let's also uh, throw a torch in there. Oh god, my cat is all over me. <laughs> Right when I decided to record, because uh, I stopped for a second, he, he came in and just jumped on me. Um, we're going to need some paper. I think that was a new trade unlocked. Thorns too? Come on. Don't be lame like the real germ. <laughs> no mobs coming. Alright, I think we're still safe. And smite four. Okay, well... He's not the worst villager, I guess. Smite is pretty handy. Do I have smite on this one? No, I got a better sword. Um, okay, well that's fine. We'll just leave germ down there. Uh, a <laughs> little disappointed by that, but it's no big deal. We'll get more villagers and I'll fish up more mending books as I keep playing. Um, so yeah, this place up here is pretty much empty. Um, we could probably take these out. Take this out. I don't know why it's there. Um, just got a few things that I can probably just migrate over to the few chests we have chilling over there. Um, oh yeah, and I made a conduit. I think I have enough to make another one. I had no idea how to, like, uh, set up the whole conduit thing, but in, uh, one of Etho's latest videos, I kind of crafted one real quick. Do I not have another Heart of the Sea? I guess I don't. Um... I barely had learned the recipe like a couple weeks ago and then I, I still didn't know what to do with this because I know you can place it in the water 
And I know it's supposed to be a setup that gives you like beacon effects for when you're underwater. Um, but I didn't know you needed like prismarine stuff, so it's probably going to be a while before we can use this. <laughs> Uh, but still pretty cool that we have one. Uh, I haven't fished up, or, or I haven't found any more hearts of the sea. I don't think I have. Let's go check inside the house. Please don't follow me. Is this, okay. Uh, maybe they're upstairs? I don't know where, or why I would keep them up here. Nope, okay, well then, I guess we don't have any more. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so everything is moved out of the house, and... We're just about ready to take it down. I wanted to check something real quick though. I wanted to see if tridents would trigger the pressure plates or if they'll trigger buttons. Oh, I think I did it. Nice! <laughs> so they do. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, everything's moved out of here. I was kind of worried that that chest might blow up, but I think we're good. Nice! Just a really big hole. <laughs> oh, that might have been a mistake. Probably did more good or damage than good. But let's just take all this down. It's pretty much garbage now. Um, one thing I think that we should probably start doing like by next episode is um, some of the work that I did have planned over there. Uh, I already started... I went into my creative world and I just kind of messed around a little bit to see if I liked... Um, if there's anything nice I could do with the sugar cane and stuff and I think I have something that might look okay um, if we do the whole field of sugar cane thing like I had said uh, there's not a whole lot you can do with making that look too interesting or um, you know just varied uh, but there's a little bit of things you can do to kind of like hide the water and stuff with the uh, water logs now or waterlogged blocks uh, you can like put stairs down let's see if I can do I have a crafting bench I don't but we have plenty of wood and we're gonna make one one stair oh we have stairs okay never mind uh let's see let's just put this right here I don't think I have a bucket oh I do I'm prepared um you can put down water inside of this block and then still put sugar cane right next to it so with this, I'm kind of thinking that we can put, like, um, slabs, we can put spruce slabs, or, uh, the stairs, and then coarse dirt, coarse dirt, um, waterlogged block, waterlogged block, coarse dirt, water, you know, just do something like that so it looks like a big dirt field with sugarcane growing. <laughs> It might not seem too exciting, but I think that's going to be more, uh, it's going to look better than doing the old ways where you had to, like, pretty much dig a hole in a checkered pattern and have water showing you know you couldn't really do too much with that but I think with the coarse dirt and um, the spruce wood and stuff I think it might look a little better um, so that's probably what we're gonna end up doing I think because I don't want to have them all in an automated farm at least, mm, I don't know, maybe we'll set up some automated farm, like, underground in case I don't want to destroy <laughs> the field. I don't know how big we're going to make the field, how efficient it's going to be. Um, let's go ahead and make a chest real quick. That's, you can't do that there. Um, yeah, I don't know how efficient the farm is going to be or how big it is, but maybe we'll even set up, like, an automated farm underneath it or something, you know, just so we have a whole bunch of sugar cane. Um... I imagine we'll be trading with villagers a bit more, especially because we don't have access to a whole bunch of mending. So we'll try to farm up as many emeralds as we can, and then, how come I can't reach this one? Uh, and then try to trade with him as soon as we uh, get one. I hope we get one, a mending villager. Alright guys, the island is pretty much cleared off now, we just have the sugar cane growing there and uh, the fishing chest should be there. It's just not rendering in. We're probably just too far. <laughs> um, but what we're going to go do now is just uh, another thing that I've been meaning to do is go grab uh, a horse back over here because uh, I actually really like how horses control now. Like back in 1.7, I hated horses. <laughs> they were the worst. Uh, they were just so slippery and laggy and just not a good time. 
Uh, but now, since like I think even 1.9, they've just been super nice. I remember on Salt Mine, uh, recently Jerm and I were kind of messing around on the old world file. Um, I hopped on my old horse, uh, Mystery, or she was a mule, and I missed that. I want to have a mule again. Oh, I forgot to grab a saddle. Dang it. Come here. Uh, and there are donkeys around here. I think they're over, um, closer to where I wanted to put the farming land. Uh, maybe it's, uh, over here, though, is where I was thinking of putting the sugarcane field. Um... I was kind of thinking of doing like another wheat field too, but like, I feel like everyone does a wheat field now. Um, I gotta go get a saddle. Everyone does a wheat field now, and I don't think if we made one it would stand out too much. Like, we even have a wheat field already over at the, um, the old base and stuff by the, the barn and everything. We have a big old wheat field, and I'm thinking... I kind of want to do something a little similar to uh, what we did on Salt Mine. Uh, there was like a, a valley up in some mountains, or I think it was Extreme Hills, so it was just a little higher off the ground than the rest of the world. Um, we had a, or I made a, like a little farming area, and it came out pretty nice. I was very happy with how it looked, and I'm thinking we might do something a little similar to that. Um, the thing is, <laughs> I feel like a lot of the stuff I do in this world is just me, like, copying old things I've done. Um, in fact, Germ was even telling me while we were messing around in the salt mine world, uh, because I built, like, an old bar in my base. He's like, you should remake that in your single player world. Because I had tried to build an aquarium in there, and it was just, like, item frames inside of a fish tank. Where am I going? Um, but now that we have real fish, you know, we can we can do the actual aquarium. And I did kind of do that uh, over in the trophy room at the old base. But um, now we can kind of remake the whole bar and everything. And I think that's something that might be cool, but I don't even know where I would put it. Uh, are you the one that we tamed? Yes, you are. Let's see how you handle. Uh, I feel like this is pretty quick. Not too sure. Let's... Grab some blocks. One, two, three. Okay, I can't reach. Uh. Oh, okay. If this guy can jump four blocks, then I'll be happy. Nope, you are terrible and should not be alive. Oh my god. Get out of here. Uh, what about this one? <laughs> oh, this guy's real fast. This new guy. The all plain one. Uh, it doesn't really matter how uh our horse will look because i don't plan on keeping the horse around i want to have the don or the mule and i'm pretty sure all mules look the same oh wow jumps very high but it can't quite make it up there i wonder i i bet it's like uh three and a half blocks that it can jump uh it's hard to tell i'm not too fussed at finding out exactly all right, I'm gonna keep uh, breeding some horses around here. I think there's a few more down there, uh, but there's for sure some back over there. So uh, I'm gonna find the perfect horse. I'm gonna tame the donkey, and uh, then we will be back to watch them breed. All right, guys, so I think I checked every horse in the area, and this is a pretty nice ravine. I gotta do some caving around here. Um, I checked every horse in the area, and there were a whole bunch, and I gotta say, all of them were pretty terrible. Uh, it's a bit of a shame, but, you know, what, what can you really do? Um, but I think it's okay, because if we're going to be chilling with the mule, I'm pretty sure that the only thing you can really breed, um, to enhance with mules is their health. I think their speed and their jumping stats are always the same, and I think that's the same for donkeys, too. Uh, but I found this, uh, black horse, uh... He can jump very high. He can make it up to the four blocks, uh, but I think barely. And then uh, his speed isn't the best, but, you know, what can you do there? Uh, but I also found this white horse. There you go. That is pretty quick. I think this is the fastest one that I've seen. There might be one that's, like, probably equal to it. Um, but I think I like this white horse better. And if we were to keep a horse... 
give it gold armor. Gold armor, I think, looks the best on horses. Um, way better than diamond. Diamond is, I feel like, terrible. <laughs> um, but maybe with these two, I'll breed them and just try to get like a really, really fast, good jumping horse. Uh, this one isn't too terrible at jumping, but it can't do the four blocks. Um, which I feel like is important for horses, because if you're ever in a situation where you want to leave your horse around... Uh, and you don't have a lead and a fence or something uh, you can always just you know make this little four four block tall tower leave your horse up there and he won't go anywhere he'll just stay up there he won't he'll, he'll be too scared to jump off uh, and I feel like that's very handy so let's actually leave oh man don't die <laughs> uh, let's leave that guy up there that way we know he's the one and uh, let's bring this one over to the donkey. I brought the donkey uh, over to the base already. And uh, let's get these guys breeding so we can get our mule. Alright, you guys. You two. Donkey. Oops. And mule. Or horse. <laughs> Make a baby. There we go. We did it. Oh, man. We're the best parents in the world. Grow up. I don't have any sugar to feed you. Are you still attached to the lead or did you break off of that? No, you broke off of it. Man, I hate that about leads. Oh, I picked it up though, so that's cool. Can I do it that way or do I... Okay. You stay there. Where did the baby go? I don't want it to grow up in one of these rooms because I feel like it's gonna grow and then suffocate in a block. There you go. You stay there until you're all grown. I don't think I'm gonna feed you sugar. I think I'll just let you grow naturally. Man, that thing looks so cute. Super small. I wish it could stay like that forever. Uh, this guy, though. Let's see. I want to keep the horses nearby because I'm pretty sure the animals will always, like, uh, stay within range of them, of the parents. I think that's how it works. Um, we're going to have to build, like, little horse parking spots. Um, one thing I've been keeping in the back of my mind, just like a small note, is to make sure the pathways are big enough and not obstructed for uh, horses to cruise by. Um, I think I'm going to be using them a lot to get around this whole area because we're going to be spread around this whole bay area and I'm still not sure if we're going to add piers and stuff. You know, shortcuts to get uh, to certain places, so we're going to have to do a lot of walking around areas. And I want to be able to do it kind of quickly. Uh, especially now because we don't have any elytra. Whoa, don't die. Um, so we're going to have to keep that in mind. Uh, if we want this uh, whole horse idea to work. Uh, we don't want to have cramped areas where we can't get through. I don't know where to keep this guy. I think I'll just... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll dig something right here. Alright, that should work for now. Uh, <laughs> something super small, just surrounded by some fence posts uh, I don't think they'll uh, try to escape because they think there's not enough space right here because it's just one block wide uh, that's a trick I like to use a lot with the uh, horses um, just waiting on this little guy to grow up let's go ahead and grab the saddle I think we should name it too I know it won't despawn but I'm trying to think of a name I'm not good at naming things I thought it would grow like instantly, but I guess not. <laughs> That's kind of lame. Where did the ropes go? Are they still there and just not showing up? That's what it seems like. I hate that. I uh, got the name tag too. What do we name this guy? Is it a boy? Is it a girl? I can't tell. Let's go with, uh, oh, I know. Okay. It's going to be a boy. His name's going to be Deke. There you go. Perfect. Too bad we don't have lemons, because that would be perfect for this guy. Oh, we also need to get a chest for uh, putting storage on it. Do that to the donkey, too. There we go. Now you're a donkey. Look at that. Beautiful. I thought I saw something purple, like purple text. Um, there you go, Deke. And uh, when we get a nicer horse, when the, the jumper and the runner dude, when they start breeding... Um, we'll have a, a nice name and stuff for them too. Uh, I'm trying to think of places where we could put little horse stables. I want to have one by the house for sure. 
Uh, maybe one right here since we'll be doing some ore processing in this area, which I have been doing still. Oh yeah, I changed the water, the little collection area. Now it's just a big tub. I like this better, it's less noisy. Um, and I never said this last time, but there is some hidden fire right here. Um, that's just so you can hear the flame crackle every so often, you know, kind of more um, realistic, I suppose. Um, yeah, this whole collection area is still pretty terrible, if I'm being honest. I'm thinking maybe putting like a trap door or something right here. Uh, if we spread this spruce wood to like right here, we could probably hide it a little better. But put a trap door here with a chest and a hopper and whatnot. Um, that way things can get collected and I don't have to risk uh, losing them. Because at the moment, the ingots or whatever I smelt that comes up kind of just sit in this tub and I have a feeling I'm going to forget about them <laughs> and uh, they might despawn and it's going to be bad. Oh look, Deke grew up. There we go. Let's go take our Deke for a ride. <laughs> oh god, that's not what I meant. <laughs> it's supposed to be a reference to uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. but now I'm just over here talking about Deeks. Uh, I think you need your... Come on. Oh, come on. You need your saddle first. Oh, do I need to tame you? You should already love me. I'm the reason you're alive. Okay. There we go. Get off of me. Go there. Alright. Look at this guy go. Okay. He decided to win. -y. Oh, wow. This guy's pretty fast. How's your jumping? I think the jumping is what's terrible. Oh, that doesn't seem too bad. Whoa. I think you might be able to jump three blocks at least no dang it is it two and a half that they can jump I totally forget we might have to go or I might have to go on a the salt mine server and uh, or the salt mine world and see how good um, mystery was I'm pretty sure mystery was a lot better this guy's a lot faster than I would think though okay he could do two and a half that's pretty cool. Better than nothing. I do like how speedy it is. I can't imagine we'll be jumping too much. Especially if I'm going to be having the world uh, be horse friendly. So, oh, come on, let's go around here. There's nothing I'm going to really have to jump around. You know, trying to maneuver the pathways I make. So, I guess it's fine. Um, but I'm going to see how much time we have left uh, for the video. And decide if we're going to call it quits there or if we're going to do something else. Alright guys, well it looks like we're actually out of time. Um, just put everything together that we recorded today and we're over 30 minutes. <laughs> so gotta wrap it up, uh, but really quick, uh, I'm in my creative testing world. Um, this is kind of what I was messing around with for the sugarcane. So you can see we have coarse dirt alternating with um, the spruce planks and everything. And then every so often too, I put some trap doors so we can have some lighting uh, at night time uh, let's see if we can do it really quick no 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 let's do midnight uh, it's super nice it's super lit up it's super nice <laughs> uh, it's really lit up and everything and uh, I think it'll help things grow at night time if we ever need to but um yeah I think we'll probably do this um, I was thinking maybe too we could try sandstone because you could do stairs and um, sand but we don't live in a desert so i don't think this would look too hot in the um the plains or the forest that we have by our base but uh yeah i think we're gonna go with this one but uh thank you guys for watching uh, i hope you enjoyed the episode we did a little bit of chores um got ourselves a mule a deke <laughs> uh, but i'll see you guys in the next one peace out Bye bye